In this video we're going to talk about the boolean logical operators. There are times where you want to perform boolean operation on two set of boolean expressions. I will explain what that means. For example you want to check whether a is greater than c and a is greater than d. So you want to check if a is greater than both c and d. So a is greater than c is one expression it's one boolean expression and a is greater than d is one so you want to check you want to carry on your uh, at the execution of your program only if these conditions are true if a is greater than d and a is sorry if a is greater than c and a is greater than d that's the only time you want the program to continue so you are only going to carry on with the program if these two boolean hold if two booleans hold to be true a must be greater than C and A must be greater than D in order to get a true statement. The word AND, which I should put in double quotes, the word AND is denoted by double ampersand. So in program, this is how you denote AND in objective. So this is how you write it. If A, then bracket, you have to put everything in brackets. Remember when we're talking about board mass, so that uh, the uh, the precedence of uh, so that the precedence can take place here yeah. so if a is greater than c and a is greater than d then perform the following operations the second boolean logical operator is or which is written as this uh, two uh, I, I don't know how to say this in english but uh, this is how you denote it you find this uh, on your keyboard and uh, you the two of them that's what represents the whole. This we evaluate. This we evaluate to be true as long one of the operand is true. So let me give an example. Say for you're creating a programs that allow only uh, um, African American or an Asian to go in. So it's only African American or an Asian person that you're allowed to go in otherwise it's not going to open the door for anyone so you want to check are you African American or are you an Asian person if any of those is true then you open the door so this is how you um, use the expression or so if A is greater than C or A is greater than D so basically what the or does is if any of these odds to be true then the operation carries on. So if you're African American or you're an Asian, the door will be open. But in this case, both of them must be true. Both operations must be true for the operation to carry on. That's and. But or one must be true. For the from the above program, we can see that as long one of the Boolean operand returns true, the operation will be performed. The last one is the not, which I told you in the previous video, which is the exclamation mark, which was spoken about. Uh, this operator inverts the value of a Boolean variable. So, if uh, a is greater than c, if a is not greater, so basically, if you say a is greater than c, then you negate it. You're basically saying if c is greater than a, but um, Anyway, you can invert any operation. For example, the uh, African American and Asian example I gave, and I said if you are African American or Asian, then you go in. If you negate that, that means everybody else can go in except African American or Asian. I hope I haven't confused you, but uh, anytime you need to negate uh, any Boolean expression, all you have to put is the exclamation mark at the back and it's going to give you the opposite uh, result of uh, what the uh, expression in the brackets would normally do. So the above could be written as if A is, great, is less or equals to C. So, oh, pardon me, A, if A is greater than C, the um, if you negate it, it means A must be less or equals to C. I mean, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.